What is up guys, it is Adam and welcome back to my channel. Today I've been working on my go-kart. I'm sorry for taking this break as well. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I really needed this break to focus down on stuff that's been really important happening in my life right now. So I've been working on the go-kart quite a lot at the minute. Well, not a lot. I've been working on little bits here and there. Um, but it looks a lot different than it did before. So I'm just going to go show you what I'm doing. Two parts are very minor parts here. These are just the floor panels. These aren't going to be the actual floor panels though. This is just going to go over the thick floor panel to hold me. Because this won't be able to hold my weight because it's 1.5mm uh, thick. So I'm going to order 3mm thick um, metal. And then that will go on top of the 3mm metal just to make it look nice. What I've also got here is, if you can notice, a panel in first. My first panel in. See, it's a bit bent up at the minute. I kind of see as well that this panel isn't exactly, exactly on the chassis here. But that's what I'm trying to get it to do, is just have it exactly on the chassis, making it look nice. And the reason this bit here is so flat, and the rest of this is really bendy and trying to go to the shape, is because this is where some of my switches are going to go. So some of my switches are just going to go straight onto here. I'm going to drill them out in this video as well, hopefully, if I have the time. Uh, I need to straighten this bit out as well, and if I have enough time, again, I will bend this to the chassis. Doing something like shaping and forming body panels and panels in general, you don't want to use a metal mallet or a metal hammer. You want to use a rubber mallet or a rubber hammer uh, because then it won't leave marks and indents on the uh, metal and it will look smooth and it will look like a natural curve. Uh, what else you're going to want to use is uh, one of these little clamps here. And that is because you don't want to hold it with your hand because then once you're holding it with your hand, when you hit it, the vibrations will go through your hand and to be quite honest, it will really, really hurt. <laughs> you have been warned, this will get loud. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your uh, little clamp here. There's so much mess in this freaking table. Um, you're going to want to get your clamp here and make sure that it's fit to the size of the um, metal. But you don't want to make sure that it's too tight because then you won't be able to clamp it in. And you don't want to make sure it's too loose, because uh, then you won't be able to, um, well, then it won't just be able to hold it. So that seems about right there. Go there and clamp it. And I hate these things as well, because you always fucking jam your skin in the fucking thing. Ah, you fucker, see? So, once you've finished actually jamming your fucking skin into that, don't do that, it fucking hurts. Um, you're going to want to bend this to the angle that you want. Well, first off, I'm going to start off straightening off this bit here, because you can see it's a bit bent at the minute. So I'm going to go start straightening that out. There you go, it's looking better already. There you go, now that should be straight. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hold this at the angle that you want to bend at, and just start hammering. There you go. Then there's also something you can do as well. Uh, you can clamp it in the vise and kind of cheat a bit. You can see that there's some very defined lines here. Um, that's where I clamped it in the vise and hit it a little bit just to get that little bit of extra angle. And you can see I'm not using heat or anything for this as well. That's because heat will actually warp the metal once it starts to um, cool off. So that's why I'm not using uh, heat or anything. Just so it won't warp. Now it should be good. Although that is looking much nicer. As you can see that bit there is still a bit off. Um, but it doesn't have to be perfect for right now. It just has to be good enough so I have an idea of where everything is going. Once I get starting to put this thing together stage, I'll start to make everything a little bit more perfect. Um, but here comes the pain in the ass part of the video. We have to drill the holes for these switches here. So, um, I've just basically, what I've done just now is I'm going to go off and drill the um, holes for the switches. Uh, I haven't done any special drawings or anything, I'm just going to go off and drill out what I want it to be. I've made hole punches where I want it to go. Come on camera, focus. Close enough. Um, anyway, oh I might be there actually. Nope, doesn't focus. So yeah, basically what I'm going to do is um, uh, hole punch where I want the other uh, uh, switches to go. And um, then I'm going to start drilling. Now the thing about drilling with metal is, if you're drilling a hole, if you see smoke, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't mean anything bad. Uh, just basically get some WD-40, spray it on there, and then keep drilling. If you see fire, it's another story. <laughs>
Just done the rest of the off camera because it was going to kill my phone. But there you go. So come on, focus. Come on, you had it a second. And yeah, so basically I got that done off camera. As you can see, it's a very small hole. That's because you basically want to go off and do it up in sections. So I've done that little hole. Then I'm going to move up to a slightly bigger one. Then I'm going to go off and move up to this big drill bit here. Please wear safety glasses. I literally just realized I wasn't wearing safety glasses. Always wear them. So what I've also just done off camera is polish the metal. It was already polished when it came from the factory when it was built. But you can focus on that. But I didn't like this bit here. It's just too bright and too reflective. You can see too many of the dimples. I've managed to get most of those dimples out from bending it. So that's good. There's still that big bend though. I can't I can't like blend that out or anything because it's a proper decline and stuff. So that's just gonna have to be there for just now. What I'm gonna do just now is I'm gonna start filing off the inside of this hole that I made. I'm gonna file off the edges as well so they're not as sharp. So when I'm driving around on the go-kart, it won't um it won't catch my clothes. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna do a time lapse for this because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. As you can see there's a light under here coming through. Now what you're, what you're going to do is hold the bottom here, have this up an angle. I'm not sure if you guys can see the angle, so here you go. Run about a 45 degrees angle, and you're wanting to do the opposite end that you're pushing. So, um, say you're pointing to, say it's leaning to the right. You're automatically going to want to um, file the right hand side of the hole. Don't file the left hand side of the hole because your finger down here is going to be putting a lot of pressure onto this bit here, and it's going to be getting rid of the uh, sharp stuff a lot more easier. And just with that once around, the sharp edges are almost gone. There you go, almost. That's that gone, that's that gone. There you go, all the sharp edges are gone. You're going to take the what, what, you that? Sorry. You're going to want to take the same file, so a nice little round file, and just going to go off the other side of that hole and get the rest, because there might not be any sharp edges, but there will still be leftover um, metal here. So, go off and file that off. There you go. It's going to be a pain in the arse particularly because I not only have to drill, that drill, drill holes for this bit here, I also have to drill out this bit here to fit these dimensions, which means I'm going to have to be doing fancy drawings and fancy measurements. <laughs> Why me? Cheeky here and try and drill um, just for this bit here at the top here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also go off and drill the holes here. So I don't have to go off and do all this little hassle, so I'm not having to do special little drawings. Yay! Leave this drill bit here um, for a next video, or just for whenever I'm free to work on the go-kart. Uh, I'm just going to be using that off-camera because I have no idea how to set this up or anything, so... Yeah, uh, that's...